Greetings, everybody, uh, or anybody who's watching, for that matter. Uh, we're looking here at the Battle of Dresden by Clash of Arms. This is the setup for Scenario 3 of the battle. Uh, this is the one that is before most of the French uh, have arrived. Uh, we have coalition forces surrounding the city of Dresden, and we have a small uh, core of French uh, and garrison and artillery uh, defending the city. Uh, and then they're surrounded by uh, Russians out here on the uh, coalition uh, right, uh, Prussians also here on the right uh, towards the center here we have a large contingent of Austrians uh, cavalry artillery uh, divisions and brigades of uh, infantry and then more and more <laughs> and more and more and more and there's not a lot between the Austrians and their objective, which is the city of Dresden and the various redoubts surrounding the city. Um, with this particular game, as I said before, it's a race against time. Um, and since the Allies significantly outnumber the uh, French, uh, if they were all able to attack at the same time, uh, it'd be over really quick. Uh, so with this scenario, there are delays to when the uh, coalition forces can be active and start to engage. And so as you see here with some of the divisions that I have on the board, there's a marker that indicates, uh, for example, 8 a.m. That indicates that this particular division or brigade is not uh, able to be moved prior to the 8 a.m. turn. At that point, it's active. It can move forward and start to engage the French. Um, this goes some way towards simulating the general sense of uh, confusion uh, that you have when you have a multi-ethnic and a multinational uh, army engaging. At this particular battle, we've got a lot of interesting personalities in play. Um, you have the Tsar of Russia uh, here with his army. You have the Emperor of Austria-Hungary uh, here with his army. And you have the King of Prussia here with his army. And so uh, there's obviously going to be some issues with them uh, getting across what they want to do, what their objectives are, and trying to decide when and where to attack. And so that confusion and that delay has been built into the game. Um, and that's what allows the French to have any hope of holding the city. Uh, the game itself starts at 6 a.m. And so most of the uh, units on the board at this time are inactive. Uh, there's a few brigades that are active, but for the most part, uh, most of the Allied forces are nailed down waiting for their activation later in the morning or in the afternoon. And that's kind of how things are for the Austrians and for the coalition. Uh, a lot of space, to, a lot of ground to cover from the edge of the map to the city. A lot of opportunity for them to uh, take some shots from the French. Uh, 